get to walk this morning. I'm over at Bradanic and um, it's a beautiful area. I've got the sea just over that wall over there and the small farm buildings just around me. Um, so I'm going to just be doing some sketching, hopefully um, using a few different mediums. I'm going to use um, my brush pen, obviously, um, maybe some black and white studies and then I've also brought my gouache uh, palette with me so I thought it might be interesting to try something with that medium. So yeah, I've got my got a different kind of bag with me. It's a lot bigger than my satchel. So it is from Milliken and it holds loads well, maybe too much, <laughs> but it holds my sketchbook and my um, materials and I've got a snack and also my water bottle, which is pretty cool because I always have a water bottle with me wherever I go and sometimes I have to just carry it and it's a bit frustrating, but this bag actually holds the water bottle as well. So yeah, I am looking forward to it. It is about nine o'clock in the morning and I hope to kind of finish up probably by lunchtime. That's always a good incentive anyway, food. Um, but yeah, there's no one else here apart from some cows and obviously birds. There might be a few people who come here later in the morning. But at the moment it's just me, so hopefully I shouldn't be interrupted. Don't mind if I am, but I can get on and do some exploring and sketching. One thing I love about sketching outside and on location is that it allows your mind to switch off because your attention is fully on capturing what is in front of you. Also being outside and in nature is always enjoyable, it's such an immersive experience, you know, you get to hear everything around you, the birds, the river, the sounds of being outside 
it's very different to just drawing in your room at home where you don't have intrusion in that way. So I was over there by the barn sketching and then I we went over to that brook and sketched there and now we are heading to the sea and the coast to hopefully sketch some views over there. I don't think I've been so um, on edge as I have when I was sketching at that point. The sea was kind of right below me and the wind was kind of pretty strong. It was coming gusts and I don't think I've ever felt so alive just sketching in that spot. I also used the gouache pan paints so the paint is a little bit more chalky and more opaque than using watercolour but it meant that I could get down the colour quite quickly and then I worked on top with a, just a black coloured pencil rather than my brush pen this time so it kind of gives a bit of a softer finish to the to the sketch but I think it captured it and only took me it took me less than 10 minutes to capture So I'm now going to find another spot. I noticed there was these really interesting mounds as I walked over um, that I really wanna go back to and sketch. They're just really interesting and the colors as well, uh, really beautiful colors. So I'm gonna do a full color sketch this time.
So I hope you've really enjoyed joining me on my sketch walk today. As you can see, I used quite a few different mediums and came away with a few different um, ways of capturing scenes around me. I just encourage you guys, if the weather's good and you've got some time, to go out and explore and take your sketchbook with you and just enjoy sketching in the moment.